Um, our next speaker is Kwame Williams, who is the co-founder of Moringa Connect. And Moringa Connect is a platform that connects over 2,500 2, small farmers in Ghana to the global Moringa market. And uh, Moringa is also known as the, the Moringa tree, which is the miracle tree in Africa. And Kwame found a way to turn this miracle tree into a miracle business. So um, <laughs> congratulations. He is the Forbes 30 under 30 entrepreneur and the D-Lab Scale-Up Fellows. He has worked with NASA and he has studied aerospace engineering at MIT. And uh, he also won the Black Engineer, Engineer of the Year Award. Everybody, please welcome Kwame Williams. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you. This side is awake. This side is like, <laughs> good morning, everyone. So much better. So my name is Kwame Williams. Um, and today, I'd love to tell you a story. So it's story time. Um, and we're going to talk about my journey from aerospace to agriculture and what we've learned along the way and hopefully um, what that means for you today. Um, so um, this is the touch of my wife, she actually added these uh, crazy things, and let me just let you know um, that it's been quite a journey. Um, it starts actually um, in Ghana, so that's cute, chubby um, Kwame. As Tunde was saying, I think you start off looking good, and then like the rest of your life, it just goes downhill. Um, so those are the good old days. And just growing up in Ghana, I was just fascinated by aviation. I, I loved anything that flew. Quite literally, there was no Xbox or, or Wii, right? So like this was pretending to be a bird was my way of having fun. Um, and thinking about ways to build things that fly um, was what, what drove me. Um, in the fourth grade, I had the opportunity to immigrate with my immediate family to the United States. Um, so we were one of the visa lottery winners, for those of you who know what that is. And, um, and I thought, yes, I am going to live the American dream. Um, I, I got into robotics in high school, so started tinkering. I'm just like, I can build things now and maybe one day have them fly. So I started looking at schools. Where can I go to learn how to build things that fly? Um, ultimately discovered that aerospace engineering was actually a discipline, um, not this made-up thing in my mind, and that MIT was the best place to be. Um, so I ultimately um, applied to MIT and said, I want to go to school at MIT, and I want to one day work at NASA. Well, by God's grace, all of that actually happened my freshman year. I got into MIT. I was being taught by astronauts in my intro to aerospace courses. And my summer, the summer after my freshman year, I got the chance to work at the Goddard Space Flight Center. Um, I was sitting next to a robotic arm that helps satellites dock to the International Space Station. And I'm just like, this is amazing. Um, my parents have given up so much um, in Ghana and were working multiple jobs in the US so that I could live this life. Um, and all of that was great until a mentor of mine, um, you know, when mentors come to your life, you know that something's about to happen. It's either really good or just terrible. Um, and so he comes into my life and he's just like, hey, Kwame, I think you should go back to Ghana. I think you should reconnect with your culture. Um, it's 2010 now. Um, it's, been, it's been 10 years since I left Ghana. Um, and I traveled to Ghana through a Christian service um, humanitarian trip. We worked in hospitals and orphanages. And, and for the first time, I saw rural poverty. Um, the, the statistics became names and faces and families. And, and I realized that there was a disconnect. I was, I was enjoying my time at MIT and, and interning at NASA. But everything I was learning was so divorced from the hunger and the poverty I'd seen firsthand, but also from the opportunity in the communities that I was visiting. And so how could I leverage all of this um, to, to start addressing these challenges? And, and that's where D-Lab steps in. So this is um, Emily, my co-founder, um, and I um, in New Longoro, Ghana in June 2012. I took the D-Lab development course. It introduced us to um, tangible ways that every single one of us can leverage our, our experiences and our skills and our talents um, to combat um, the challenges that we see in the developing world and how to do that with people, right? Um, Co-create solutions together. So we started meeting farmers and they tell us about this incredible tree called Moringa um, and how this tree can literally do everything. Um, the, 
<laughs> the leaves of the tree were packed full of nutrients. The, the seeds of the tree had an incredible cosmetic oil. And through this whole process of discovering what Moringa is, um, I also realized that I found a friend and a business partner in Emily. And actually, through that trip, also found my wife. So if this conference is anything like that class, um, some of you are going to leave here married, and others are going to leave here with um, a spouse. Um, <laughs> So we ultimately start to connect more and more with farmers, um, like Akosia, who grows, who has three Moringa trees in her backyard. And the more we research the Raza, we could create an incredible line of food products from the leaves of the tree if they're that nutritious. And if the seeds have this amazing oil, how does it compare to argan oil, or jojoba oil, or coconut oil? And what is the differentiator? And the more we looked into it, the more we realized that it's, it's better. I mean, honestly, it's better. That's how I've left aerospace and I'm doing this. Um, it has essential fatty acids that help your skin heal and rejuvenate your hair. It, um, it, it, the, 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 the leaves are packed full of nutrients that do everything from um, lower your blood glucose levels for those who are diabetic and um, provide you an amazing plant source of iron for those who are anemic. Um, so we're just like, wow, okay, we have to do something because we can't just learn about all of this potential and, and just leave it in her backyard. And so we built um, Moringa Connect, um, a vertically integrated chain, um, supply chain, connecting the dots between all the promise in Moringa to the farmers that grow it, um, to the value-added production and manufacturing you need to create products that you and I can use every day, and then creating brands um, that connect our products to the global market. Um, so we give farmers the nutrition they need, uh, the nutrition training they need, the inputs they need to grow Moringa commercially, instead of two to three trees in your backyard, um, 500 on an acre now. Um, we sign contracts with them to, so that they know that they are a valuable part of our supply chain. Um, we, we guarantee not just um, their income from Moringa, but also share our profits with them. So we give yearly bonuses. As we as a company grow and earn money, they should share in that as well as a viable member of our, as a viable stakeholder in our supply chain. And ultimately, we've built two amazing brands. Um, I think I'm allowed to call them amazing um, because it's been just an incredible journey. And more and more over the past year and a half, we've been validated by industry. Um, so we created Tree Moringa. Um, it's our beauty brand, taking all the amazing things in Moringa oil so that you and I can use it every day. Guys, as a beard oil for the couples in the room as a massage oil and personal lubricant for the ladies as a cuticle oil, as a facial, um, and, and really just make it a part of your everyday personal care. Um, over the past year and a half, we've launched a new brand as well, um, entering the food space. So this is taking now not, um, the leaves of the Moringa tree and creating a line of tea out of it. Um, and also a pouch of powder, so that you can add it to your favorite smoothie. And at first we're like, oh, this is just to boost your immune system. It's just a healthy thing to do. And then more and more, there are rigorous evidence coming out, out of Hopkins, out of um, credible institutions saying, this can do a whole lot more. Um, this has implications for cancer, it has implications for hypertension and cholesterol. So we're just like, wait, we're on to something. This is incredible, and, and it's not only impacting the lives of our farmers, but now when we talk about improving lives, we're also improving the lives of our customers, and, and as well, improving the lives of the 51 people that work at Moringa Connect now. Um, so in three and a half years, our family has grown. Um, here's a picture of some of our team in Ghana. Um, we also have six dogs as part of that large Moringa Connect family. Um, one is called Mori, and the other is called Ringa. Um, and they really contribute to this vertically integrated system I've, I've, I've shared. Um, as well, um, we're helping farmers literally across the entire country. We've um, engaged over 2,300 farmers um, and provided over 420K in income. Actually, this month, I think we're hitting 450K in income to farmers across the country. Um, and it's just been really special to do that as we plant trees across Ghana, as we train farmers, and as we give them the inputs and the skills they need to be successful. This year, we're actually launching an even more aggressive plan. We want to plant a million trees by the end of the year. So we announced it on Earth Day last week. And um, we're planting a tree in the name of everyone who buys a product, um, any of our brands. Um, so there will be some cool name plates that will be sending out in social media um, throughout the year, um, just showing you how you're having an impact in Ghana. 
Um, as well, we've gone to the point where we're trying to scale our brands and, and push our products literally to every, every corner. So um, from e-commerce to get into um, larger retailers so that you actually see this on the store shelf when you go out shopping. Um, and as well, um, forming partnerships with, with different companies and brands globally so that we can get Moringa oil into all the beauty products and personal care products you love and Moringa powder into all the food products that you love. Um, and today, I think I'm sharing all of this because I, I just really want to leave you with um, this proverb. And it's ever since I, I, I read it, it's kind of just eaten at me. And it, it, it's a Chinese proverb that says the best time um, to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Um, and the next best time to plant it is now. And for us, that literally means planting Moringa trees, um, a million of them um, this year, and, and, and add in value so that all of our lives are improved. But for you, I, it may not necessarily mean that. I think um, there's, there's something about this quote that, that says, how do we leverage what we have, um, what we've been given, what we've been blessed with, um, whether it's our time, our, our skills, our talents, um, and how do we use that to, to do something today um, that makes the world better and also make sure that 20 years from now, the world is that much better. So we've planted our trees in Ghana, and I invite you all to join us in planting your own trees and, and nurturing them. Thank you very much.